I'm so glad that we're together. I'm so glad you're near. It's good when friends are together. I'm so glad I'm here. Welcome to the workshop. Welcome, welcome to my special friend. I'm so happy and delighted you are near today. I'm so glad you came to visit. I'm so glad I am here. It's going to be a really good day, all because you're near. I'm so glad that we can be friends, learn together, grow together, talk together, sing together, a song or maybe two. One, two. I'm so glad you came to visit. I'm so glad I am here. It's going to be a really good day, all because you're near. Welcome. Did you see what I brought with me today? It's a rocket. And this rocket is made out of metal. I was thinking about our fantasy friends. Remember last time we were together, we were pretending that our fantasy friends were going to the moon. Well, why don't we pretend and play about that now? Here we go. Three, two, one, blast off. Audrey, the crew, and I are happy to have you join us on this mission. Is it okay that I brought my camera? Of course, Audrey. You'll definitely want a picture of the sandcastle. Sandcastle? Yes, we're going to the moon to build a sandcastle. In fact, we need to be leaving now if we're going to get home in time. In time for what? Snacks, of course. <laughs> hey, you mumbo, may I count us down? Sure, Lenny. Now? Now. To the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast, blast off. off! Oh, this is amazing. Look at all the stars. It's amazing the adventures you can have when you imagine and pretend. When you imagine you can ride a rocket ship of cardboard to the moon. When you imagine you can go anywhere your mind can take you to. When you play you do the finest work any child will ever do. For it's the make-believe pretending that leads to creating and problem-solving. That's the work children do. When you imagine, when you pretend, when you imagine you can try most anything. When you imagine, when you pretend, when you imagine, when you pretend, when you imagine you can fly an airliner of paper through the sky, when you imagine you can try any trade to which you might aspire, when you play you can dream up anything, there's no limit in your mind, where it's the make-believe pretending that leads to creating and problem-solving, that's the work children do. When you imagine, when you pretend, when you imagine you can try most anything, when you imagine, when you pretend. When you imagine, when you pretend, when you imagine, when you pretend. What was that? I think we've landed. Affirmative. We have landed. May I be the first out of the rocket? <laughs> sure. I'll get the toys for building sandcastles. And I'll bring my camera. And I'll get everything else. Look at this. <laughs> I know. This sandcastle is really coming together. And we don't even need a plan. No, only our creativity. And from our creativity came this, this masterpiece. Amazing. I'm not sure I can capture this with one picture. I might have to take a panorama. Does it rain on the moon, Mumbo? 
I don't think so, Lenny. Why? Because I think I felt some rain. I'm sure I felt rain. It's rainy. Let's get inside before we get soaked. Sigh. I didn't get a picture of the sandcastle before the rain came. But it's okay. The fun today was being with my three friends. I agree. Yes, I know there will be plenty more sandcastles to photograph. Hey, tomorrow can we come play by the lighthouse on the seashore? And build another sandcastle? Or two? Sounds like a photo op to me. <laughs> <laughs> more play next time at my place. More play next time at Audrey's. More play next time at Audrey's. More play next time at Audrey's. Of course, only in fantasy play could someone go to the moon that quickly. Did you notice as soon as it started to rain that our four friends were actually in a sandbox by Mumbo's tree? They were only pretending to go to the moon, just like we pretend about them. You can do many things and go many places when you imagine and pretend. When you imagine you can ride a rocket ship of cardboard to the moon When you imagine you can go anywhere Your mind can take you to When you play, you do the finest work Any child will ever do For it's the make-believe pretending That leads to creating and problem-solving That's the work children do When you imagine when you pretend, when you imagine you can try most anything. When you imagine, when you pretend, when you imagine, when you pretend, when you imagine, when you pretend. When you pretend. Well, it's not the moon, and it's not pretending. I would like to take you to the zoo. Some things you can do by pretending, and some things you just have to do. So, let's you and I go to our community zoo. Come on. Wow, here we are at the zoo. Do you see the statue of the tiger behind me? Isn't it grand? I want you to remember that all the animals, all the wild animals we will see today are in fences. They cannot get to us. You and I will be perfectly safe, but we will get to see a lot of wonderful animals. And I hope we get to see a real tiger. How about you? Let's see what animal we can see first. Come on. Those are Siamang. They are a type of ape from Malaysia and Thailand. Oh, look at him swing on that rope. How grand. Isn't that wonderful to see?
Let's go see some other animals. Come on. That is a rhinoceros hornbill. Isn't it beautiful? That's a magnificent bird. Let's see what else there is to see. Come on. Oh wow, there's our tiger. This is a Malayan tiger. Look how still that tiger is being. That tiger is watching carefully and listening carefully. I wonder what's in this direction. Let's find out together. Oh, it's zebra. The sign says that these are Hartman's mountain zebra. I didn't know I had zebra named for me. My last name is Hartman. Those zebra kind of look like horses wearing black and white striped pajamas. That's fun to think about.
Last time we went that way. This time, let's go this way. Come on. Oh, wow. These are called Red River Hog. Just look at them. Oh wow, how beautiful. This animal is called a bongo. It's a type of antelope. How magnificent. There is so much to do and see here at the zoo. Let's find out what we can see next. Come on. Do you see the large rock? Well, if you look carefully next to that large rock, there appear to be two other large rock. But if you look carefully, you'll notice those other two are actually tortoise. Those tortoise can weigh more than 500 pounds each, and their body can be longer than five feet. This sign here at the zoo says some tortoise live longer than 150 years. Let's go see some other animals. Come on. Oh my, how beautiful. These are called red panda. I really like watching the red panda. How about you?
I was really hoping to show you an elephant today, but the elephant isn't where it can be seen today. But on our way out, there is a sculpture of an elephant, and I would really like for you to see that. We need to be getting back to the workshop anyway. Come on. Isn't it magnificent? The elephant is holding a butterfly on its trunk. But if you look carefully, you can see that this sculpture of the elephant is made up of many butterflies. Look carefully. See the many butterflies? Isn't that beautiful? Let's head back to the workshop. Come on. Well, what did you think about the zoo? Have you ever been to a zoo before? When I was first thinking about taking you to the zoo, I thought about a craft project that you and I could do together. In fact, I'm going to take off my sport coat and put on my apron so that we can go work on that project, that craft project right now. Come on. Well, we saw the tiger at the zoo. And I thought maybe you and I could make a lion puppet. What you would need is an old spoon. I have a yellow spoon. You don't necessarily need a yellow spoon. You could use a white plastic spoon and paint it yellow, or you could make your lion any color you would like. I thought we might be running short on time today, so what I went ahead and took the liberty of doing was making a second spoon or taking a second spoon and putting on gluing on googly eyes you see the eyes google and I drew a nose and some whiskers and a mouth our lion is smiling now also from some brown paper I cut a circle with scissors and I also fringed the edges because a lion has a mane and so to make this craft, after you glue on your Google eyes and draw on your face, and if you don't have Google eyes, you can draw on eyes as well. I thought we could tape on the mane. So what I will do is I will take some tape put it right in the center of our mane and then glue it or tape it there we go and we have our very own lion puppet you know you don't need fancy toys to play with no some of the best toys of childhood are the toys you create you do not need fancy things to play with you do not need fancy things to have fun a paper cup can build a castle a wooden block can be a car it's a matter of using the things you have already the fun in play is always the playing it's never about the things that you possess you do not need fancy things that lose their sparkle the only fancy thing you need is you and that's right the only fancy thing you need is you you and your fancy ideas isn't that right mr lion yes that's right <laughs> well why don't you and i take our lion and go over to the butler come on with me next time i will see you next time we will be together next time we'll sing a song or two or three we'll sing it strong and merrily 
next time when we're together next time next time i will see you next time we will work together next time we'll talk together openly about important things we see next time when we're together next time You have made today such a special day for me. I'm glad that we could go to the zoo. I'm glad that we could pretend to go to the moon. And I'm glad that we could make a lion puppet. We could pretend our lion puppet was going to the moon. I want you to remember that I like you because you are you. I like you like you are. There's simply no one like you, and I like you because you're you. See you next time.